Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will simulate the summing amplifier that amplifies sum of two or more input. Before working on this tutorial, request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below. An inverting amplifier with two input terminals and two input resistors. Since the inverting input terminal of op-amp behaves as a virtual ground. So the current across the resistor R1 is given by I of 1 equal to V of 1 divided by R of 1 and current across the resistor R2 is given by I of 2 equal to V of 2 divided by R of 2. Then the current flowing across the resistor R3 will be I1 plus I2. Based on this, we can calculate the output voltage, which is given by the following equation. When the value of R1 is equal to R2, then V out is equal to minus of R of 3 divided by R of 1 into V of 1 plus V of 2. Then the output voltage is equal to gain of the amplifier into V of 1 plus V of 2. When the summing circuit has R3, R2 and R1 are equal, then the gain is equal to 1. And the negative sign indicates the inversion of the signal. Thus, the output voltage is the direct sum of the input voltage. When the R3 value is greater than R1 and R2, the gain of the op-amp is greater than 1. Then the output voltage is the sum of input voltage multiplied by R3 divided by R1. Now in this example, for an LM74 amplifier, According to the data sheet, IP max is equal to 500 nano amperes. So, I of 1 minimum will be equal to 100 into 500 nano amperes, which will be equal to 50 micro ampere. Now, based on the current value, we can calculate the value of R1. R1 is equal to V of 1 divided by I of 1 minimum, which is equal to 2 kilo ohm. Now, from our design perspective, let us consider R2 is equal to R1, which is equal to 1.8 kilo ohm. Now, for the gain of op-amp, which is equivalent to 1, then R3 equal to R2 equal to R1 has to be 1.8 kilo ohm and to calculate the value of R4 R4 is equal to resistor which is parallel to R2 and resistor R2 parallel across R3 which will be equivalent to 560 ohm now based on these design parameters let us do a summing inverting amplifier using KiCad tool. Click on place symbol and place the cursor on the schematic window. The global library loads and search for LM741 in the filter. Select the LM741 and click OK. Place the symbol on the schematic window. Now right click on LM741 and click on properties and click on edit properties. Select mirror around X axis and click OK. Now we must place resistor R1 R2 and R3 and R4. So 
click the cursor on the schematic window and the global library loads. Search for vSpice and select the resistor and click OK. Place another resistor on the schematic window. Right click on resistor and select properties and then select edit property. Type the reference as R of 2 and the value of resistor as 1.8 kilo ohm and select the orientation as plus 90 degree. Right click on other resistor, select properties, edit properties, type the reference as R of 1 and the value of a resistor as 1.8 kilo ohm and select the orientation as plus 90. Now click on place symbol and from the global library select the resistor symbol. Click OK and place the symbol on the schematic window. Right click on the resistor symbol and select property and edit property define the reference as R3 and the value as 1.8 kilo ohm and select the orientation as plus 90 degree again click on schematic window and from the library select the resistor Place the resistor on the schematic and now change the resistor value as 560 ohm and the reference as R4. Now we must place a global label which will act as an input. Click on place global label and type V of 1 and place this on the schematic window. Similarly, place global label V2, VCC and VEE. Now click on wire and connect the input label V1 to resistor R1 and V2 to resistor R2 and connect the resistor R2 to pin number 2 of LM741. Connect the resistor R1 to resistor R2 and the resistor R3 to resistor R1. From global pin VEE to pin number 4 of LM741 and the VCC pin to pin number 7 of LM741. Connect the resistor R4 to pin number 3 of LM741. Now click on place port and Click on the schematic window and the library loads and now we have to select the ground and click on OK. Place this ground on the schematic window and connect the resistor R4 to the ground. Now connect the pin number 6 of LM741 to the resistor terminal R3. Now click on place no connection flag on pin number 1 and pin number 5. Now we must place an voltage source on the schematic. So 
we require voltage source for VCC, PEE and the input voltage. So click on place symbol and type P spice and select the voltage source that is V source and place this voltage source on the schematic window. We have to place three more voltage source. Next, we must place the global label on the schematic window. So click on global label and place VCC, label VEE, label V1 and label V2. Now click on place port and place the ground connection for all the voltage source. Now click on wire and connect the VCC to the positive terminal of voltage source and the negative terminal to ground. Connect the negative terminal of VEE to the ground and the negative terminal of source V1 to the ground and the negative terminal of source V2 to the ground. Now connect the positive terminal of VEE global pin to the positive terminal of the voltage source and the global pin V1 is connected to the positive terminal of the voltage source and connect the global pin V2 to the positive terminal of the voltage source. Now right click on the voltage source value and change the reference as VCC and the value as 5 volt. Right click on the voltage source properties, edit properties, change the reference as VEE and the value of voltage source as minus 5 volt. Now right click on voltage source 1 click on properties edit properties define the reference as v1 and value as 0 click on edit model select sinusoidal dc offset as 0 amplitude as 0 0.1 volt and frequency as 1 kilohertz next right click on voltage source click on edit properties Define the reference as V2, value as 0. Select sinusoidal, DC offset, amplitude as 0 0.1 volt, frequency as 1 kilohertz. And click OK. Now right click on LM741, click on edit properties and define the reference as U1, click on edit spice model. Now we have to select the LM741 library file. So select this particular model file and open. Now select the type as subcircuit and click on alternate node sequence type. 3274 3, and click OK. Now 
we must define the input to the ng-spice. So click on place and select graphic text and now type dot tran 4 milli and 8 milli and click OK. Now click on tools and click on simulator. Click on run and stop button. Click on add probe and place this probe on V1. You can see the input wave of V1 and select probe and select V2. You can see the input wave of voltage source V2. Now place the probe on the output pin that is pin number 6. You can see the inverted signal. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.